Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about Bitcoin's sudden hash rate drop. But before we do that, I'd like to remind you that I am still streaming on my other channel. Um, it's a backup channel, and I'm going to still keep streaming on it until I get this strike appealed. I got the last one fully repealed, but I'm still working on this one because they struck me for the same stupid reason, and I'm trying to get it repealed. So for those of you who are looking for my stream channel, it's in the description as well as the first pinned comment. I also have another channel called Crypto Update Channel where that will gather all the great crypto news for the day in one single video per day. Check that out. That channel is in the description and in the comments as well. So here we go. Bitcoin's hash rate suddenly dropped by another 20 for uh, 29%. If you go to like the blockchain site, you can see the massive drop, sudden drop in the hash rate. And we know what that means. Generally, when Bitcoin's hash rate drops, the price usually drops with it. Think back to the hash war. Now that was a specific event where it was gonna last for a while. This isn't. So the thing is the price hasn't dropped with the uh, hash rate. But generally, a lot of times when the hash rate drops, there is actually a delay of a few days, possibly a week before the um, before the price drops. And if the hash rate actually pick back, picks back up, there could be no reason for the price to actually drop. Right now, the hash rate might have dropped because maybe some miners were finding it unprofitable. I still, I still think it's profitable because I've actually heard that in China, there are places where you can actually mine for about $3,100 Bitcoin. That's only half of what the price is right now. And once the price, the hash rate drops, it's actually easier to mine Bitcoin. That's actually why hash rate and price are actually correlated to each other. The more hash rate there is, generally the more hash rate you have to put into the pool to get your fair share of Bitcoin or your share of Bitcoin. If you don't have as much hash rate, then like, you know, other people are my, other people are taking over the fraction of Bitcoin that you're supposed to get. So when the hash rate drops, the same amount of computing power and electricity can actually mine more Bitcoin. And when the hash rate rises, it takes more electricity and mining power to actually mine the same amount of Bitcoin. That's why the price of Bitcoin is correlated with hash rate, because if you don't need that much, if you don't, if the hash rate drops, that means it doesn't take that much money per Bitcoin uh, for Bitcoin to stay profitable for mining. So that's kind of like the lower bar. If the hash rate drops by 29%, that means like the lower limit of what it takes to be successful mining Bitcoin just dropped 29% as well. Hopefully it will actually, well, actually I don't hope that it actually recovers soon because I have this insidious plan to buy crypto at much lower than it is right now. Right now about 30% of my crypto investment is in USDC right now. I'm just waiting for Bitcoin to drop into the 3000s before I can trigger my buy orders to buy some Bitcoin at 2800, to buy some Brave at five or six point cents, and to buy some Ethereum at 70 or $50. That's what I'm hoping for in my insidious evil plan. And I think many other people are on my insidious evil plan as well. A lot of people don't think that Bitcoin will actually fall below 5,000. That could be the case, but I'm looking for a flash crash all the way down to 3,000 or 2,000. Hopefully I catch it. And even like since this Bitcoin hash rate drop, if the hash rate keeps dropping, I'm pretty sure the price of Bitcoin will actually follow sooner or later as well. Right now, like it's kind of evened out a little bit after a massive 29% drop, but I'm hoping for at least a 29%, 30% drop in price so I can buy in a lot cheaper, maybe even a 50% drop in price. Because I think a 50% drop in price right now or even more would be pretty damn cool because then I could just buy Bitcoin and crypto at a very cheap price. So when it moons, I can make mucho dinero. Oh, by the ways, when it moons and you sell out, please actually reserve some of that money to pay taxes because there is, there, are, there is a kid who actually sold off at the top um, of the 2018 bull run and then immediately reinvested and then lost uh, like 75%. And now he owes more than, in taxes than his portfolio is worth. That's actually why I think the US government and the IRS needs to reform crypto taxes because the, the chance for that is too much. If you've been swing trading last year, unless you sold off at the top at 2019 at $13,000 Bitcoin and then reinvested it directly, you're not going to be in that situation. If you've been swing trading and you didn't sell off at the top, you sold off somewhere between like six, $7,000. The thing is like, you don't really have much USD gains, honestly. So you're not going to owe too much taxes. But if you sell off way off at the top, you should reserve some of that money for taxes because if you reinvested immediately you could actually end up owing more taxes for the year than you act, than your portfolio is worth. And that could actually make you plenty broke. So that is the update for today. Watch for that BTC hash rate and stick to the evil plan of buying in for lower prices. Thank you and have a nice day.